Let's look at a couple more examples of finding equivalent fractions. So in our first example, the question asks us, are 4 tenths and 16 fortieths equivalent fractions? And so we're going to start by lining up our two fractions. So I'll write 4 over 10 here, and I'll put an equal sign with a question mark over because we don't know for sure yet if they're equivalent or not. And then I'll put my second fraction right next to it so that I make sure that I keep my cross multiplication organized. So I want to start out by taking the denominator of one fraction and multiplying it by the numerator of the other. And then I take the denominator of my second fraction and multiply it by the numerator of the other. So my first calculation is going to be, what is 10 times 16? 10 times 16 equals 160. And then my second calculation is then going to be this cross multiplication of 4 times 40, or 40 times 4, either way. 4 times 40, or 40 times 4, also equals 160. So since the product of these two cross multiplications are equivalent, are equal to each other, I can say that yes, these two fractions are equivalent fractions. And I'll erase my little question mark over it, because I know now that these two fractions are equivalent. My second example is similar. It asks me if 4 tenths and 8 twenty-fourths are equivalent fractions. So they've given me two fractions here, and the question is, are these equivalent fractions? So again, I'm going to set up my 4 over 10, right next to 8 over 24, and I'm simply going to do my cross multiplication. So I want to make sure that I multiply the numerator of one times the denominator of the other, and then vi vice versa, the numerator of the other times the denominator of the other. So I have two calculations here that I need to do. 4 times 24, which equals 96, and then let's see about the other one. So I did 4 times 24, which is 96, but now I'm going to do 10 times 8, which we know is not equal to 96. 10 times 8 equals 80. So the answer to this question is no. These two fractions are not equivalent because the product of their cross multiplication is not the same.